already know the vibes. It is peak day. What's up, anime fans? It's your boy Anime Rich back with another video. Today, we got Peak Piece, aka One Piece, back with another episode. And today's episode, man, it's looking like it's going to be the end of Wano. It's looking like it's going to be the end of Wano. So I can only expect greatness out of this episode. I'm really excited, man. I'm not even going to talk too much. I'm not even going to plug my shit. We just gonna get into the episode because man, I'm I'm so excited. It's been like, when did Wano start? Like four years ago? Wasn't Wano like four years ago or three years ago? It was Wano. This arc has been going on for fucking ever. <laughs> this arc has been going on forever, man. And I'm so excited and ready for it to end. Seeing Luffy in his gear five greatness looks amazing. And bro, like I just, like literally I have no words. I don't even know what else to say, man. Listen. All we're gonna do is just enjoy the episode today. Enjoy Peak Peace, Peak Peace Day. And uh, yeah, man, let's just get straight to it. I'm not gonna waste any more of y'all time. I'm, I'm not trying to waste any more time. Let's just watch it. So this is episode 1076. And the title name is The World That Luffy Won. Because he can command that, you know what I'm saying? Because he the go for it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, all right, anyways, anyways, let's get to this episode, man. Oh damn! Cause they were it was either that or get flamed up. Oh oh, that was so cool. It went through like all the phases of his life to how, how he is now. That's crazy. But Luffy almost stuffed his whole fist down his throat just now. Pause. Pause. Oh, what is this? Kind of looking cool. What the hell? That's Big Mom. Fire. Ew, what was that ugly ass laugh? Yeah, kyo, kyo. That shit was disgusting. I'm sorry. I couldn't I couldn't just ignore that. Oh, that's some demon boy energy. Why he looks so cool? What the hell? At age 10. Already the strongest. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> I kinda look like an NPC though. Hold on. <laughs> kind of like an NPC. He don't even look like he's the strongest. <laughs> That's funny. No one can beat me. Why does he look so graceful? What the? F Why does he look like he's about to shoot a L'Oreal commercial? <laughs> Why did they make Kata look so damn graceful? Vodka Kingdom. Damn, 46 years ago? How old is Kaido? All rights in the world. Why do they bow down to celestial dragons? I feel like we might have already got an explanation for this, but I don't know. I'm still curious. Oh my god, bro. This is what I was expecting. Do y'all see how fluid this animation is right now? Holy shit. Oh shit, is that a kind of? Man. Wait, if at age 10 he became the strongest, how the hell were they able to catch him? Bro, look at this. I don't want to say anything because it sounds sus, but. <laughs> Look at this shot, man. I, I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna say anything. Never mind. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, the lost Zoro. He did great. Why is he talking? Oh, crap. Oh, he about to boil breath. Oh. Bro, Kado's too much, bro. Kado's just too much, bro. I'm still trying to figure out how y'all caught him in the first place. Oh. 
I'll go to the house. I don't want all the smoke, man. Look at them. Blacked out eyes. Just knocking people's heads off willy nilly. How? How are y'all catching him? Three guns? Is, is that actually enough? When, when, did, when did he get his fruit? There go Whitebeard. So what's going on? Is it just the fact that Kaido's literally just... Am I right? Is Kaido just literally just letting them catch him so he could escape again like a flex? <laughs> like, y'all can catch me, but I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna flex and bust out of here. Is that what he's doing or am I tripping? Because if that's what he's doing, he's a savage for that. But it's funny as hell. Why be trying to recruit him? Oh, he did recruit him. He was on Kaidu Squad, huh? On a uh, Rock Squad. I forgot. Oh, this is back when Big Mom was a baddie. Ooh, wee. Let's see it. Damn. Mama, mama. What the hell is she talking about? Oh, he's about to overthrow, overthrow the uh, Celestial Dragons. Nah, we're not just gonna skip through that like we didn't see what we saw. I, that's got to be a wig, right? No way he's eating that. Bro, Momo still didn't move on to at this point, or Lee. Why does it so beautiful? What the hell? Oh, that's a crazy shot. Well, it's not crazy, but that looks cool as hell. That's the last one that didn't get clapped up, right? Yeah, he said, I'm getting the fuck out of here. He said, gotta go. He said, gotta go. Yeah, yeah, that's the last one. That's the last one of the CP0 ages that didn't get clapped up. Because that one, um, what's his name? Dude, the dude with the, the, the lipstick killed him. And then the other guy who interrupted Luffy and Kaido's fight, he got smashed by Kaido because Kaido wanted a fair and square beatdown on Luffy. So I think he's the last one left. He said, I got to go. I'm not, I'm not getting clapped up like these two. Damn. I feel him though. That'd be me. Bro, if you don't move this damn island. Oh, crap. Oh, there goes the water. Couldn't remember it. Daddy Carmen Komarasaki. Hmm. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, wait. Komurasaki was their alias. Kiori. I gotta start remembering these names. My bad. Beppo. That reminds me all scared and nervous like he's not a fish, man. <laughs> Yeah. Damn, then they started a whole tidal wave on the island, bro. Bro, somebody grab Zoro. Thank you, I was gonna say. Things literally free falling at this point. Holy. There you go. Oh, that looks so crazy. I'm loving the animation in this episode, man. They're making it look so fluid and good. This is very well shot. That's why you're about to lose. What kind of world can you create? Is this where he says the world that I want? Watch. The title? What a G. What a gangster. He said that 200 episodes ago, by the way. Oh my gosh, everything coming all together at once. All the emotion, all the pain, all the fighting. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that wasn't even Kado, that was like a flame like coat. I didn't even know that was the case, that's crazy. This is so cool. have been granted and they don't even know it and they all have happy as shit King, shout out to momo by the way with the assist you know the guys from it down safe wow beautiful man holy crap what a great episode that's that's a 10 out of 10 episode that is what i fully expected was going to happen in this episode nothing but peak throughout the beginning to the end the only bad thing that i will say about this is they added way 
they went through Kylo's freaking whole life whole life story in the first half of the episode. That took up so much time. I hate when they do that and go back in the backstory and they just pick out so much crap. When you get the most insane freaking peak freaking best fight scene ever or best most important scene ever and then they hit you with like a backstory that's when they want to hit you with their full backstory of whoever is important in that specific scene i feel like that crap should happen like way before the actual battle or way before the actual important parts in an episode happen and then just leave the ep the episodes like full smoke by themselves and then let the backstory be like a full episode by itself don't fill out the whole crap when it's just about to end with more backstory when you could add more extra cool scenes in there from something else you know what i mean that's just me but other than that holy holy that episode was exactly as i expected it to be man i love how they did like the um the black and white sketch the black and white sketch when um kato got hit by the big fist and then like he was getting ready to plummet all the way down and then they had it to like where they flash back to him saying joy boy would be the only one to beat him flashed back to his past flash back to when uh odin tried to smack him and then all comes together in the future to now luffy being the one to actually take him down after he couldn't be defeated all his freaking life bro and they just brought a full circle all together that 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 crap was actually really really cool that was really really cool momo got everybody down safely man only got uh not only got Shimo, but the um people in wano are cheering they're happy and they don't even know what happened yet they just cheering for the festival they enjoying themselves at the festival and now they can enjoy themselves for the rest of their freaking life in wano man all because of this fight that they don't even know happened yet all this happened one night by the way <laughs> This, this this whole thing, everything that happened up in Onigashima, but this was one night. This is a one night fight in their world, which is kind of that's insane. Because how long was how long was it from when Onigashima like started until like you know like when they first floated into the air and they started doing that crap? That was like fifty. I want to say like fifty episodes ago, maybe longer than that. It might have been closer to hundred. I don't know how long it's been since they initially started floating up to Onigashima um floating up in onigashima but my goodness man it's been a minute it's been a minute in wano in total and them on onigashima in the air in total and for them in the one piece world it's been a night <laughs> that's kind of crazy to think about but shit man that was an amazing episode i literally have no words there's nothing else to say but um i can't wait for the joy and the happiness and the peace and the um What's the word? Can't think of the word. The aftermath. That's the word I'm looking for. That's the word I was looking for. I'm waiting. I can't wait to see the aftermath, man. I can't wait to see their banquet. Everybody happy and cheering, cracking jugs, drinking. That's that's also one of the coolest parts in animes. Like after, and not animes, but in One Piece. Like after their fights, and then they have their little banquets and start cracking jokes and having a good time. I love those those scenes too. Those are like my second favorite. As apart from the action and the story and the world building and stuff like that but man once again 10 out of 10 episode like <laughs> that was amazing um shout out to the animators shout out to oda uh shout out to everyone who uh created the episode created the episodes previous to this it's been a wild journey in wano man i can't wait to see what happens next in the next arc i know we're not done here yet but it's, we're pretty much done here you know what i'm saying but anyways i'm done here as well uh that's the end of my reaction for today hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys enjoy watching this amazing episode by the way and some of my decent commentary uh along with the episode hopefully you guys enjoyed my me and my commentary to the episode uh make sure you guys like comment subscribe you know you know the drill uh, make sure you follow me on my patreon where we're gonna be posting a full reaction and make sure you follow me on my discord we're building a community of anime fans with also some non-animated content mixed in between as well as my instagram and my tiktok you know what I mean? so anything you guys want i got y'all and we out to the next one man